Hi, my name is Shayanch. My team name is Maya, US4014. I live in North Carolina, USA, and I've been learning Lego Robotics for the past one and a half years. This is my first Code Space competition, and I've learned coding using the Code Space software. I've thought of many different strategies and implemented them. The category that I have participated in is a Code Space Rescue U12 challenge. When I received the map for this preliminary challenge, I investigated the following problems. I wanted to make sure that the robot moves in the segments of the map where the objects are more. This will allow picking up the, of the objects faster. To get the bonus points, I had to make sure to code in such a way that I get at least one RGB set in each run. When the six blocks are picked, finding them and navigating to the nearest orange deposit zone, Obstacle detection to detect the obstacles and take turn when detected. Since one of the trap zone is next to the deposit zone, I have to make sure that the fully loaded robot avoids that trap zone. Let me brief you on a couple of methods and strategies. To make sure the robot moves to a segment which has more objects, I have designed the code so that the robot turns right at the start of the run. Since there are no blocks in X0, Y1, and very few blocks in the left section, we avoid going to those segments. Once all six blocks are picked up, I thought of a strategy to navigate to the nearest orange deposit zone. This navigation algorithm is based on the segment the robot is in when it picks up the six block. This makes the depositing of objects faster and more efficient. The robot will move at an optimum speed of 60 so that it detects all colored objects and avoids the trap zones. For obstacle detection, three ultrasonic sensors are used. The details of all strategies are in the following slides. This is my analysis of the map. On the left side of the map is where the robot starts. There are very few blocks there, so we make the robot turn right and go to the middle section. In the middle section, it is a special area, so you get double the points. So we try to make the robot get as many points as it can in the middle section. On the right side is where the trap zone and deposit zone are, and all the other colors too. There's an obstacle, so the robot will have to use the obstacle detection to find its way. We also have to make sure that when the robot is trying to get to the deposit zone, it should not run into the trap zone. So, we made it so that it will go only to the deposit area instead of the trap zone. With the specified methods and strategies, the robot picks up the objects faster. There is at least one RGB set per pickup, and it avoids the trap zone and detects obstacles. During testing, the total points were a range of 1,000 to 1,300 consistently. For the robot to get the most amount of points and the most efficiently. I made it so that the robot navigates to the segments, which has the most number of objects. Also, while it's navigating to the segments, it will try to pick up the RGB sets. It also has obstacle detection and avoiding trap zones so that it doesn't have the setback. For the orange deposit zones, it navigates to the nearest orange deposit zone, and it deposits the objects. We set the speed of the robot to 60. These are the resources I used for finding the positions of every point in the map. I used this so that the robot could easily find the orange zone and go there when it had full amount of blocks. This is the flowchart for the search algorithm. This is the navigation algorithm. This is the flowchart of the deposit algorithm. So when the robot starts, it moves right, and then it goes to the special zone. After it goes to the special zone, it sees the yellow 
and then it moves back. Now that the robot is full, it will try to go back to the orange. The robot is depositing, and it's going to keep going forward. The robot got one RGB set, and it's going to try to go back to the orange because it's full. The robot got stuck and it got out because it knows which way to go because of the three ultrasonic sensors. The robot already got one RGB set. And it's going to turn around and go to the orange. It knows not to go to another segment because the orange is in that one segment. The robot did its last deposit and we got a total of 1,000, 1,060 points. While working on the software, I faced a couple different problems. When the robot moved forward, it detected the wall and then it reached a trap zone and then it went to a place where there weren't many objects, so it wouldn't be as efficient. And also, another one I found was that it, it took a long time for the robot to pick up objects. So my solution to that, the robot would rotate on the, on the start of the run. As a result of that solution, my points increased by at least 200. The problem I faced was that the orange zone was right next to the trap zone. So, whenever the robot is fully loaded, it could there's a chance that it could get stuck in the trap zone. My solution to this was that the robot would go all the way to the top and take a left. And go to the edge of X2, Y2. And then rotate to the deposit zone. With this solution, the robot does not get stuck in the trap zone anymore, and it consistently deposits the blocks. The third problem I found was that the robot was getting stuck in the corners. I modified the code so that the three ultrasonic sensors would make the robot rotate until it doesn't detect the wall. This helps the robot navigate so that it doesn't get stuck in, stuck in the corners and waste time. In conclusion, to these problems, I am consistently getting around 1,000 to 1,300 points and would like to work on better strategies to find both RGB sets and pick up. While using Cospace Robot, I have learned that flowcharts are an amazing tool to use to understand and develop algorithms. Um, I have designed the algorithms and coded in coded and tested them. I have gained, I have enhanced my software programming skills and testing skills. I watched other participants of iCool strategy and algorithms. I would like to share it to the other Cospace participants that drawing flowcharts are a great tool.